what's up YouTube Johnny Butters here back with another video now let me ask you something what do you think that footage that video you just saw was shot on your latest Canon mirrorless Sony mirrorless maybe even a cinema camera or maybe was it something kind of from 10 years ago like the Canon 70D yes that's right what you just saw was shot on a Canon 70D using Magic Lantern raw video at 2K. So we're shooting on right now with the Tokina 11 to 16. And I gotta say, this might be a sleeper kit to use for music videos. And now the reason why I wanted to bring all this up today, the Canon 70D Magic Lantern, is does gear matter? Now Recently, a video that I shot on a 80D with these two lenses blew up on TikTok. It's got like 60,000 plus views on YouTube. Spotify numbers are up. It's doing really well. And it was a very simple run and gun setup. Again, 80D, two lenses, little LED light, three locations, a bunch of B-roll, and it's doing numbers. And is it doing numbers because it's visually amazing? It's an AK and it just the, the color grade is, no, it's doing amazing because it just, the visuals fit the song. So when it comes to music videos, I think, I don't think gear matters as much as people think it does. To us, it matters because, you know, we like to pixel peep and, you know, make sure we're, we're giving our client, you know, a, a good product, a good result. But at the end of the day, as long as the performances of the artists are good, you got props, you got good locations, decent lighting. I think that's more important than what camera you use. And yeah, it's a 10 year old camera. Listen, I've shot on the 1DX Mark II, C200, R6, original R, Sony A7 IV. I've had a lot of fun with some nice cameras, way more expensive cameras than this. And I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. Speaking of the raw footage from this camera, my love pack is in the description below. Support your boy, this channel is not monetized because they beautifully went on this footage. I was kind of surprised even the other day when I had the pleasure to shoot with the R6 and the A7 IV side by side. I had to match up the footage together in grading and I used my love pack and people couldn't even tell which shot was which. So if you want to download a love pack, I know another YouTuber with a freaking LUT pack, but I promise you I won't disappoint. And it's, I believe, valued at a fair price. Some people really overcharge. Anyway, let's talk about the downsides. Now, this isn't the greatest low light camera, um, but a way to get around that is to add light, which you usually do in a music video setting anyway. Uh, you usually have a run and gun light on you, a little LED light. Ah, oh, come on, bro. So, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, I wouldn't take it past 2000 ISO. I try to keep it at 1600 and below. Uh, one good thing to help with that is a good lens, like a 51.8. The Sigma 18 to 35 would be a killer lens to put on that camera. So you can kind of keep your ISO lower. Now, when it comes to the raw footage, it's much easier now versus back in the day when I believe I had the 70D or the 6D was in the early stages of the raw recording. You had to record it to DNG, then you had to transcode it into a video format. You had to stretch the picture so it would look great. It was a whole process. Now it's much easier to have an app, MLB app. You drag the files into it. You tweak it just like any other raw file and you can encode it to any sort of flavor you want, ProRes, etc., and then drag it into Premiere, Final Cut, DaVinci, whatever you want and continue to edit. So it's a much easier process now. And I think, again, the footage looks pretty damn good. Because if you've seen the standard footage that comes out of this camera, or the 80D, any of these older Canon cameras, where it's like, I don't even think it's like 4208 bit, I think it's worse than that. Yeah, it's a big difference. I'll even put a side-by-side -side on the screen right now. Uh, it's a pretty big difference. So it's worth it, and it's continuous. It, it's 14-bit, 2K continuous raw video on a 10 year old camera. So if you wanna talk about music videos on a budget, this is your best bet. And I believe the, the EOS M also does it. 
uh, the 600D, the 6D, the 5D series, 5D2, 5D3. There's a laundry list of cameras. I think this is the sweet spot. You can get the EOS M, but the EOS M is very tiny, so you're gonna be on a gimbal almost all the time or a tripod. This you can at least handheld and get your, you know, your variety of shots. So I think the 70D is the sweet spot. Um, and uh, yeah, not much more to it. It's a pretty simple video. We're back at it. Again, I'm loving this Tokina lens 70D setup. We're shooting 70D right now, raw video. And we're gonna get into in the next video, why I have two of these cameras? Do both work? Or did one have a little uh, accident? Subscribe, comment below if I got you in the beginning. Did you expect that footage to be 70D or were you expecting like an EOS R or, you know, M50, insert Sony camera here or something, something, something better? Let me know, comment below, and make sure you subscribe and tune in to the next video. I'll see you.